The small forest landowners are really one of the groups of people who have both very critical forest lands in terms of where they're located and uh, they are so vulnerable to being pushed towards development. It's the timber that we use for our houses, our pencils, um, a gazillion different uh, products come from wood. But in order to build with wood, you have to cut them. And that's something that people haven't wanted to recognize. You have to cut them. Probably one of the most solid, long-term sources that we view in Washington are the tree farmers. To be a tree farmer is to um, connect to that heartbeat of people that really nurture the land and um, bring out the best in water, wildlife, recreation, and wood. My great-grandfather bought a lot of property in this area in the 1880s. So he held on to the land just thinking it could be a haven for the family. In our heart of hearts, it's, it's a piece of ground that's it's all one contiguous piece and it's meant to be managed uh, to do good for our family. The Washington Farm Forestry Association has, has always had a, a good relationship with the Washington Tree Farm Program. And it's becoming a wonderful partnership and a, a wonderful relationship over time as, uh, as we do attempt to become certified through the American Tree Farm System and um, become better stewards of the land. A tree farmer really needs to have a passion for growing trees. It's a way of life. It might not be a living, but that's what it is. A small family forest tree farmer might say he might not be managing it for dollars at all. He might be saying, well, I'm just going to manage this for, for western pileated woodpeckers.